Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this step, it's the final part using bag two and it's step eight. And we're gonna be fitting the front shock tower, which is a really nice graphite piece. Um, I've just sealed the edges with super glue just to prevent the layers delaminating. And the manual recommends that we fit the very nice anodized um, shock ball joints using position three so the very very outer edge i'm going to build everything as recommended in the instructions um, and then after testing on the track um, i may adjust it slightly um, try and find the right setup so first step with the shock tower with the countersink holes facing towards us i'm going to put the 10mm shock bushings behind and they're going to be fitted with these M3 by 20 screws and I'm just going to thread those on by hand there we go Nip those up by hand for now. On the other side. Please excuse the state of my hands. Um, I was working on my real car um, yesterday and despite soaking my hands, I managed to get a lot of oil ingrained. There we go. So, with those fitted, what we need to do now is fit the front shock tower protector. That goes just over the top of those. And that's held in place by two, two and a half by six mil um, screws. And those are the ones that I incorrectly fitted into the wishbones. So, it just pays to keep an eye on your screws. So they go over there like so. Now they push straight through the holes and what's going to hold them in place is this little plastic component here and that's the shock tower nut. So just position that behind, get it so the holes line up. There we go. And then Those screws thread nicely in. And this is a nice smooth part and it looks like it will protect the shock towers very well. Right. I think I'm best fitting the shock tower nut first because it is a very close fit. the shock tower as well. What's also nice, don't you can see that, it's labelled gullwing just to let you know that it's the right shock tower for the, uh, the wishbones that we're using. Okay. Just got to, you just have to tweak that a little bit just to make sure that they're going at the same time. So that's the uh, retaining nut for the shock tower protector. Then I can put the shock tower protector back over the top. And then we'll do these little two and a half mil button head screws up. There we go, and that's now threaded in nicely into the retaining nut. the next one. Mm. 
we go. It was a little bit difficult to get the uh, thread to start, but once it did start, um, it was going straight in. And with that complete, what we need to do now is place the front wing mount over the top and that's now the wing itself uh, the suspension mount itself is countersunk and the front wing is also uh, the front wing mount has also got countersinks on it so it does locate very nicely so replace that where it should go and it locates directly onto the holes and then first of all I'm going to fit the lower M3x10s screwing in nicely. Once I've got that one started, I'm going to fit the other side. If you've got fat fingers like me, you might need to use a tool just to help you align them. Good. And that's going in very nicely. those in until the countersinks are nice and flush and just wait for the tension to increase there we go that's that one in and then we've got the slightly longer M3 by 14s and they're just going to hold the front wing mount and also retain the top of the shock tower so it's held on by four screws that one started mentioned before it's my first time building an associated kit and I'm just very impressed with the quality of the parts and the, the general fit and finish of everything so far. Um, really looking forward to giving this buggy a test. And with that in place, that completes step eight. So we've got our gullwing wishbones on. Nice shock tower and shock tower protector. And in the next video, we're going to be um, building the front axles and the steering blocks. So, look in for my next video. Thanks for watching.